Good evening guys, this is Sumaya. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today in this video we are going to learn how to give a backlit effect to the mirrors. Uh, it's quite simple. We are going to use a cove light for mirrors. We are going to use cove light on the back of mirrors to give a nice backlit effect. So for today's tutorial I have considered a simple uh, bathroom area or uh, vanity so let's see how I have made this model
yeah here you go so the model is ready the only thing left out is placing a mirror so you can place any shape of the mirror as per the project but for now some of the simple shapes of mirrors are rectangle square circle oval or sometimes it's even an abstract shape whatever may be the shape of the mirror giving a backlit effect in the dialogues we go the steps are going to remain same so first we will consider here a nice big circular mirror so what you are going to do is select a vertical cylinder go to the plan view and place the object so here even the width of the object is one meter i'm going to reduce it to 0.005 or rotate this mirror so that it is in position of how it should actually look so this will be the position so i want my mirror to be placed here on the wash basin near the wash basin like this if i if you need let me increase the dimensions of the mirror i will make it 1.2 meters okay lift it more up go and check in the 3d model take it more back okay look looks fine and this will be your mirror so you can even if you want more you can increase more size but i think 1.2 meter is quite good so the first step the next few steps are really very important so please watch it here carefully after you place the cylindrical object or any other extrusion volume to represent your mirror change the texture of the mirror make it complete white pink and replace the material copy again the circular object control c control v place the second vertical cylinder just back of the first cylinder you have placed with some gap in the between With this one you have to leave the actual texture of the mirror so go to the texture select any white color you require go to the transparent and here you can make the reflection factor to be 60 or 70 percent and refract the degree of transmission to be 30 percent refractive index one is quite fine then you need to only apply the material don't replace it so once you have done this apply once so once you are done with the applying of material your mirror is completely ready so this is how your mirror will look the reason why i have placed uh, two cylindrical volumes is when you place the cove light, if you place only one cylindrical volume, your lights will be visible in front of the mirror. So if you are placing one more extrusion volume or the vertical cylinder back of the main mirror, it will block the light or the light shape will not be visible from the front. Only you can be only the light effect can be seen from the front. That is why we place two vertical cylinders here right so now you have done with the modeling all now you have to select the luminaire files and placement and place the luminaires for that one let's go and select any flexible strip if you don't have any ideas for uh, cove light or flex you can go to the ELR website, go to the products. Here you can find flexible strips down in the products, Leoflex. From here you can download the IES. 
neoflex is and here i have already downloaded so this will be downloaded as a zip the file and you'll be having two words five words eight words and 16 words is files for the fog light so you can select the voltage as per your requirement for this application i have selected the five words i have already copy pasted in on the desktop i'll show you how to import it go to the plan view select light import luminar file so you can see here two words and five words i'm going to select the five words open don't do any changes over here and finish so once you're done go to the side view make it in a such a way that your mirror position is visible okay now select draw circular arrangement select the imaginary center point of the mirror extend it such that it is, it is little less from the size of the mirror on your second click the luminance will be placed so here you can see three lights have been placed but i want to place light such a way that the, it, it is completely in circle so i will increase the quantity to say eight numbers it is arranged in a circular shape but you can see still there is a gap between two luminaires so i have to increase the numbers i will make it 11 now it's perfect so you have to arrange like this itself wherein you don't have any gaps between luminar and luminar go to the plan view and as you see the luminaires have been placed outside bring it inside and this is the light output what you can see this is how light will be distributed if you are unable to see this one go to the result go to the small uh, display options and here you can find this show light distribution curves click here and you will be able to see it so once you once these curves are visible to you select the rotate option now rotate it why we are rotating this one is we want the light to hit the wall and once it reflects we'll be having a nice pop light effect right so we'll place the lights properly here are our lights properly placed okay so this is the procedure how you're going to add the pop light to the mirrors so once it is done add some lights to the ceiling also here i have added uh, three down lights you can add adjustable lights or linear lights as per your requirements then go to the calculation objects and run entire project so once it is calculated close the results overview go to the export option and set the proper view so that your mirror your lights are visible save new view once you are done adjusting the position go to the ray tracer go to the ray tracer increase the resolution and start ray tracing it so my image is rendered and you can see the nice backlit effect of the mirror it is so amazing so nice clear even you can see the nice mirror texture it is reflecting the door and the plant i have in behind you can try the same with the rectangle and abstract shape mirrors but you have to be a bit careful about the abstract shape mirrors because when you're arranging the lights you have to be careful you can even decrease the size of the flexible strip and arrange it but for that reason you have to again decrease the voltage and the lumen output of the same 
so guys this was a short video about creating a backlit effect to the mirrors i hope you found this video helpful if you did please like this video and please do subs and please do subscribe to my channel and stay tuned to explore more and dialogues with me thank you